<laughs> oh, well, now I know what the intro of the video is gonna be. Take that, motherfuckers! Woohoohoo! Greatest game ever! I play a lot of games that have, like, epic storylines and deeply interconnected characters and worlds and all that shit. But every so often, I just want to play a game where I can jump on a passenger plane and catch a ride. This is Just Cause 2, you might figure that out from the name of the fucking video. But Just Cause 2 is one of the all-time greatest anarchy simulator games. It's just the, the central appeal and the thing it does by far the best is just giving you a huge world to play around in and a bunch of fun abilities to mess with. I'm just uh, enjoying the... Uh, this is the economy class right here, you know, I can't be can't be asked to spend my precious money on fancy chairs with loads of legroom. But it's getting kind of boring, cause so I think I'll just nick the entire plane. Bye now! <laughs> I love that you can actually see him going, wee all the way to the bottom. But look at the size of this place! Look at this frickin' scale of this sandbox you've got! And in case you haven't noticed, Rico here has uh, quite a few little abilities up his sleeve. Yes, Rico Rodriguez. Zero character, but tons of uh, fun powers to just kind of jank your way around the world. Oh, oh dear, dear me. Jank your way around the world with, you know? It almost feels like you've turned the cheats on half the time in Just Cause 2. For instance, it is often quicker and less effort to just abandon your plane and get a new one than to bother landing it. Look how majestically it sails to the ground. Dear god, 2,000 kills. Is that all? I have probably put well over 100 hours into Just Cause 2 across various saves and uh, systems including the excellent PC multiplayer mod and uh, I was inspired in particular to do this video because I recently heard that Just Cause 3 shall soon be a thing and uh, for the un uninitiated you may be noticing that I'm rocketing towards the ground at a terrifying pace but fortunately Rico is freaking Superman and has infinite parachutes and uh, grapple powers. This is a police boat I'm about to land on. Kept up, up, nope, no, no, I missed you. Oi! Oi! Oh, <laughs> diving under the water due to lack of familiarity with controls. It's been a while. Yeah, but you never have that San Andreas problem where you're just stuck in the middle of the ocean with no way out. If you wait long enough, you can usually attract someone over and nick their boat. Oi! Oi! Well, just, for <laughs> just for that, I pulled you off the boat. I hope you, you've learned your lesson. Oh, I can even uh, nick this, this turret here and try shooting it. Oh no, I can't quite hit the, d the driver, but if anyone else drives by, I can uh, kind of shoot him up gangster style from my boat. See, there's some helpless civilians. Maybe I'll shoot them for a bit. It's actually really hard to shoot because the driver is bobbing the boat. Whatever. I can't remember how to get. I can't remember how to get out of the. Fine. I'll just. I'll just jump out of the boat. I don't care. No. God damn it, man! You're messing up my demonstration for all the nice internet people. F fuck off. Fuck off. There we go. There we go. I murdered a few innocent public servants in order to get a boat. I think uh, that's a worthy cause. I love how you can see landmarks in the distance and just say, Oh, I'll go and look over there. I'll just go and find that. And you can. That thing over there, that big kind of tower thing on the mountain, that's a groovy casino with a waterfall. You can just jump down and kind of fly around. And oh, it's the, the scale of this place and how pretty it is. Just I never quite remember how damn pretty it is. This is like the prettiest clouds in any game ever. Look at it. Look at that freaking thing. I actually don't like that there's a day and night cycle because the night is decidedly less pretty than the day and it always seems to kick in just when you're about to go somewhere pretty. Oh wow. Well. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, you never just you never just land a boat in Just Cause 2. You have to like plow it into a mountain. These are the unspoken laws of Just Cause 2. Here you go. I'm sure someone will take care of this. Not me, though. That's what taxpayers' dollars are for, right there. In case you're wondering, yes, there is a story to Just Cause, but uh, it's pretty much the exact same story as the first game, you know. There's an evil, like, tyrannical government to blow everything up to take it down. 
There's probably some sort of satire in there somewhere, but no one cares, we're here to blow shit up. Blow shit up and drive tuk-tuks off cliffs and grapple people to the back and drag them around. There's a spectacular lack of cars near here, which is just typical. Doesn't that always happen? I'm going to show off this game to all my friends, and no, all the fun things just decide not to turn up. There's a guy on a bike. Oi, guy, guy, come here. Get, out, get on the bike. <laughs> oh, it was a lady, actually. Oh, we're going to have a high-speed chase. Oi, oi. Aha! <laughs> the most effective tactic for taking care of bikes is just to nick them. Hey, oi. I forgot which button shoots when you're, when you're on a car. Oh, oh, do not shoot the grenade launcher at him. That's a terrible idea. Uh, oi. I will shoot you repeatedly. So I will shoot you so hard you fly across the world. Bully, this is like Hollywood physics right here. None of your realism, none of your GTA 5, you can't run for two seconds without bumping into things, nonsense. This is pure action movie crazy chaos, you can even like hang on the front of cars and like shoot at them and oh, it's ridiculous, donkulous indeed. Yeah, the biggest problems with Just Cause 2 are it doesn't entirely seem to grasp that the, the most fun things are just the unstructured chaos. There's a whole bunch of the entire main story, like, series of missions is pretty dull, and uh, there's very rarely anything memorable about them. But um, the main, like, currency of the game is just you get from blowing things up and stealing things, destroying government property, which is very good, because that is directly tied into the thing that most people... Oh! Oh! Tuk Tuk! Tuk Tuk! I found the Tuk Tuk. A bright pink Tuk Tuk with uh, ice lollies on the back. It's okay. I have found the definitive vehicle. No other vehicles are necessary. I have the best one right here. I am generally heading in the direction of yet another airport because of course I am. Uh, I think I definitely need to find someone to cruelly drag behind my tuk-tuk, but I do have a plan for when I get to the airport, don't you worry. Ah, Just Cause 2. I went far too long without getting Just Cause 2. It's just one of the all-time, I'm bored, I know, I'll boot up this and just have an incredibly good time for like an afternoon and then get bored and never touch it for six months. That's just cause two. It's like, it gives you this huge world, but beyond a certain point you kind of run out of things you want to do. And it has all these like, oh god, the tuk-tuk is going slower than I can just climb up the mountain now. This parachute and grapple is just one of my old favourite... The game would be significantly worse without this. It would just be a bad GTA clone, pretty much, if you couldn't grapple around the place. Oh, if only they had like this is this is what I want for Just Cause Three. I want them to implement like Red Faction guerrilla physics, where you can just smash all the buildings. That would justify Just Cause Three in my mind, because otherwise, I'm not sure what uh, significant differences they're going to make. Oh, these towers about over here—they always respawn. So I always blow them up. I also just realised I didn't do a sync test when I started doing this recording, which would definitely bite me in the ass in a minute. Hmm. Oh well, post-production problems. Isn't that fun? Thank you, vaguely racist <laughs> announcer. It's good that there's an alert on. I'll be sure to do something about that. And by do something about that, I mean kill everyone and everything! You know, you can blow up trees and things, and uh, I think the audio work is highly underrated for this, because um, if something blows up in the distance, you really hear like a, a distant boom. It doesn't sound like it's just been slightly down the road, like how games usually work. Or oh, these pipelines. There's only like 20 of these pipelines in the game, but you have to like tap in a code and blow it up and it goes pow, 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 pow. It's amazing. I'll show you one, but I've blown up most of them. I have no idea where the others are. Oh! Plane! Goodbye, helicopter. You served us well. Ah, uh, yes. Um, there's a script in the game where every time any vehicle that you've just jumped out of is twelve thousand times more likely to blow up. Oh, you, you, come here. I'm gonna tie you to my plane. Yeah, you can just grapple things to uh, pretty much anything. Oh no, no, no. He might. Um, no. He might get the grapple off him. No. Get off, bully. Get back here. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's cruel. <laughs> and now I'm gonna throw the pilot out. Whee! Look, there's the pilot, just hit the tarmac there, but you can actually see the guy dangling below. He's still clinging on. He actually, you can hear him screaming and 
you can make him spin around and uh, one of the best things I ever discovered is you can actually cha you can actually grapple vehicles to your plane and uh, you can surprisingly you can get away with a surprising amount of weight look at him he's just flying above me now usually he ended up he ends up crashing into the plane at some point but I like to try and there you go I've just released him and he's just hurtling into the into the motorway there oh he like hit a tree <laughs> uh, groin first I'd like to imagine where's that uh, casino ah oh, there it is the the Panau Falls casino one of the many lovely landmarks of Just Cause 2. Yeah, because I played Just Cause 1 and it felt like... Just Cause 2 feels like what the first game should have been. It feels like what they were trying to do. But I don't think the technology was quite there. There was a, there was a huge world, but there was almost no landmarks, so you just teleported everywhere. and Nowhere was very memorable, apart from... There was like one giant mountain that was by far the most memorable landmark. But look at this! You got a huge freaking casino with a waterfall! That's hardcore shit. Hardcore. Uh, another one of my favourite pastimes is to find a big motorway and uh, just hurtle down it in my plane. Just like... <laughs> the trick is to find a place that isn't covered in trees and... Uh, oh, 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 here we go, here we go. This isn't the best road to do it on. Oh, uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there's even a low flyer little mini game which tells you how long you survive. Aha! Hey, you can blow up the... Oh! I think I hit a traffic light. Oh, there's my corpse. Fun. Ah, uh, but if you can find a really good road, you can get away with some crazy stuff. Oh yes, it does that Halo thing where you just rip miniguns out of their moorings and run around with them. But that has the downside of... Any time you're not moving, you're vulnerable. Because it does the whole regenerating health thing, you know how it works. But, um... Basically... You want to just Spider-Man your way around. Incidentally, this feels more like a Spider-Man game than a lot of Spider-Man games, which is weird. Uh, mercenary mode, that just means I've beaten the main quest, and I don't see myself ever bothering to do 100%, because that's boring. Oh, this is a special, special car, because it's useless, but it's fun. I like how uh, useless cars are often the most entertaining to try and do just chases in. Oh, I found a boat. Fancy boat. <laughs> that was a good, good a good use of that car. I'm sure there's some fish will make a home in there someday. Ah, uh, another one of my favorite pastimes. Island jumping. Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, the trick is to take a tree with you. I took a tree with me. No, no. Oh, now it's raining just to cement my failure. But what the ultimate goal with island jumping is to soar over the island and take a tree with you and then land in the water. Oh, now that reminds me. <laughs> I have so many just little traditions that I came up with in Just Cause. Um, yes, god damn it, a little cutscene you have to skip every time you bring the little black market man in. Uh, there's a particular village over here that... Uh, if you go to, there's a fun little, uh, fun little hobby I came up with. Good times. There's just, how can you not, it's just the ultimate cocking around game. You know, there was Mercenaries on PS2, there's Red Faction Guerrilla, and now there's Just Cause 2. Which, Just Cause 3 is quite an, quite a, quite a pedigree to live up to, I think, because... Warts and all, this is a hell of a good time. For instance, physics. I was hurtling towards the ground at 12,000 miles an hour, and I slowed my descent by pulling myself towards the ground with the grapple hook. And now here are some watermelons and bananas and things. Fuck your watermelons. Fuck your vitamin C. Oh, it's like a dune buggy here. Oh, these things, if you shoot them, they fly away. This is a bad example, but they fly away! And you can, there we go, that's a bit better. And you can like, uh, you can attach them to people, which is endlessly entertaining. <laughs> and they just go, wee. There, so, there are all sorts of ways to kill people that are far less efficient than just shooting them, but far more entertaining. The actual shooting is uh, pretty, pretty underwhelming most of the time, and um, there's this whole upgrade system which is actually kind of shit, because it doesn't feel like you're making much progress. 
Yeah, there's a couple more on vehicles you can unlock that you can just have brought down to you by the helicopter, but meh. They're not actually that exciting. Now, the reason I like this village is there's a massive mountainside down there, you see. It's night time, that's not ideal for doing this, but uh, I actually think I need a better car than the one I'm currently using, so uh, I'm just gonna... Yes, thank you, bad Texas accent man. Oh, what do I want? What do I want? Some of these things are DLC that I just got with my copy of the game. I wouldn't actually bother buying any of the DLC because it's a bit eh. Um, oh, a tank. No, a tank's too easy. A tank. What you want for this is the the, the, the real the real score is to try and get down the is to try and get down the mountainside in as fragile a vehicle as possible. Let's go for uh, this thing. It's like a supercar. Yeah. Yeah, there's this whole system where you find upgrade parts and you upgrade your weapons and they do more damage but they don't actually do anything more exciting than that most of the time and it's just it just feels like a very half-assed upgrade system and uh... oh that was a scorpion some of the only wildlife is a scorpion and you can never you can never shoot it or anything so it's quite disappointing but he's quite cute with his little scuttly legs I hereby christen you Jeffrey Mr. Scorpion we are friends forever now Oh, we're gonna have a race, okay? Three, two, one. Oh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, you've fallen behind early on. You might get lead because I crashed into someone's farm and destroyed their livelihood. Taking on the role of the of the turtle, I think, in the turtle and hare story. Terrible jokes aside, let's drive down the mountain at high speed. Oh, this isn't actually where the mountain really begins. Mind the tree. Oh yeah, the day the sun's coming out. Yes, yes. Oh, it even goes to like this action movie camera if you do really crazy stunts. Honk the horn. You have to honk the horn when you're doing crazy stunts. Oh, oh, I don't like the look at this. Oh, okay, okay, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it even makes like spinning, whooshy sound effects when your vehicle spins around. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Uh, that's what we call uh, an Apollo 13 landing. Ooh. I'm alive though, that's impressive. <laughs> there is some inconsistency in the sort of uh, injuries you can survive. Hey, I reached the water! Yes. 